this thumbnail this thumbnail and this thumbnail all these thumbnails were created with dali 3 not only that but all these images were also created with dali 3 dali 3 is currently the best image generator available this video will demonstrate three methods for creating dali 3 images in any aspect ratio so be sure to watch this video until the end to determine the most effective method so right now i am on microsoft bing create where we can use dali 3 for free and these are the images i generated as you can see currently these images are in square format and we will resize them into a landscape format using some free AI tools. First let's download this image and then we will proceed to resize them. In the first method we will use stable diffusion on clip drop. To do this visit the website at clipdrop.co forward slash uncrop. After that upload the image you want to resize. After uploading the image you will find some options at the bottom. By default aspect ratio will be set to custom. As soon as you click here a drop down will appear. And from here you can select any aspect ratio. Whichever aspect ratio you choose your image will be resized to that aspect ratio. Let's select Select landscape then click next and now it's resizing our square image into a landscape format and here are four results of the resized image choose the one that you think looks best download it and use it now let's see how to resize this image for a youtube banner where the height will be less but the width will be more to do this first we have to select the image then hover over to the image corner and make it 50% smaller than its original size after resizing the image center it on the canvas and manually adjust the aspect ratio from the top and bottom to match the image proportions then click on next and your image will be ready in a few seconds and there you have it this is how you can use stable diffusion to resize your images now let's move on to the second method in the second method we will use canvas magic expand ai tool i have already uploaded the images here because i create thumbnails for youtube and fiverr just as we expanded the image on stable diffusion here on canva the process is the same now let's see how to expand an image on canva first upload the image you want to expand then click on it to add it into the workspace after that select the image and and click on edit photo then click on magic expand now you will see multiple presets of aspect ratios similar to stable diffusion you can use these presets and you can also adjust it manually let's continue with whole image preset within few seconds it will present you four expanded images you can select the one that looks best this is how you can expand images using canva now let's move on to the third method and in the third method we'll be using adobe firefly this method is completely different from previous two methods but you can also use it Let's see how. First you need to visit this website and from here you need to upload the image. After that click on background and this will remove background from our image. Next we need to write a prompt here. Since I want to add a high speed motion effect on my image background, I will write high speed motion effect and blur as my prompt. You should write the prompt based on the background of your image. After that click on generate. And this is how you can use Adobe Firefly for creating new backgrounds. So if I share my personal experience with you. Clip Drops Stable Diffusion is better than Canva's Magic Expand and it is also free to use. Let me know in the comments how you found this video and the information. If you liked it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. See you in the next one.